for me, uh, I thought retreat mining was much better than uh, advanced mining. A, because A, when you finish mining, all your other equipment is ready to start to get in work. Otherwise, they're put in for this sort of stuff. As I pointed out to you in there, underground we have stretcher station. This was our first tennis box, turner keys, quick stemming of blood, spinal board. Every in a tunnel from here to the Lancashire Police Depot, five or six feet scattered down the tunnel. We also have an Entenock station, and we also have a morphine safe. And here is morphine and injection, so we give injections. On the ground we have conveyor belts. Conveyor belts are not just for bringing coal out, they can also bring men in. And if you're really clever, you can bring supplies in as well. <laughs> Don't so, <that>. Absolutely. <laughs> some belts you're allowed to ride, some you're not. There are two different kinds of belting, 36 inch belting and 40 inch belting, depending on the size of the coal face. These were scattered throughout the pit. The underground is like a honeycomb, it's just tunnels go off like this everywhere. Quite easy to get lost. And a lot, lot darker than this. This, I will tell you, under your feet is good walking space. It's not like this <laughs> underground because there's steel scattered everywhere. Nuts and bolts and tins and everything. Everything you can imagine. It's like this. Belts are not running, costing money. It's as simple as that. They don't run, there's no coal being caught. Simple. So, my job on the weekend was change belting and you put combs in, what are called combs like this. Yeah. 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 Throw the belting, you could pull across. Or stitch that belt, you stitch that belting and you'd use something like this. Yeah. A stitcher. You put that in there, you put the belt in there and you pull them like that. Now the lad used to stop, because I was playing rugby then like that, and I thought I was always like it. It was kind of training, I was training. <laughs> so the lad used to knock me out road. And it, and it didn't take much for knocking me out road, I could tell. And I used to go on it like that. And even now they'll say to me like, wow, students, you were a powerful guy. And the more he said it, the more I did it. <laughs> more they said it, no matter what I did, my party weeks would. I could pick a man up on a stain. That was my party. Were you? What an idiot. <laughs> What an idiot. There were a guy, they, they, they bet this apprentice electrician at Apton Valley that he couldn't pick his cell up in two buckets. And he tried. <laughs> I've seen something, but well, that was my bet. A manager come say, sure, show your bet, please. I don't know why you're about, sir. So pick that man on the stage, hey yeah, And it's not lads, I wrote a girl playing, hey yo, bang, I put down. Not lads, just sit there, go on, Brandon, you keep doing it. And I did it. Kind of fool, kind of fool. And they were laughing at me, I know that, they were laughing at me. So, like I said, underground, like, it, uh, you'd have panels, you know, bringing all kinds of electricity in and pumps and water. Every coal mine had an all system. With this game, a loss of limb, with this game, you'd have four or five of these together, with loading with two, three tons of steel. A lot more than this, a lot more than this with legs and arches. So as you see, we've dropped down a size now. What you're leaning on there is a Warwick. So if you're at a tunnel what's a thousand yards long, you'd have maybe four or five what we call Warwicks. Now, going down to a coal face, it could be one in, one in two, one in three, so it's like this. At any shift, when you're setting supplies down, your mates are going in front, and there's a big bucket there, and you pull it, and you lift that Warwick up, and this set would go underneath it. Just follow it through, follow it through. At the end of your shift, you've got everything's ready for the afternoon to come in. We've loaded for afternoon to we're resting on the Apollo morning. You'd hope that saves your life. Because if this is a thousand yards away and you're working in a one in two, one in three, in four foot total of darkness, and you're working down there, the only time you hear that is when it's hit you. You might hear it back to you. You've got that much time. This is down, you can't even imagine what's going to be so down. You can't even imagine. One in two, one in three, two or three, five, four, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, four, five, four, That's your work place. That's your work place. I've worked on them big ones, there, on 11 feet tall screen. They wouldn't be there, that would be cold. They just packed up for some reason to move on. These chocks are like soldiers, maybe 110, 150 chocks, side by side by side. Once you go in there, you don't come off, unless you're on the stretcher. Cutting this, like I said, go stand up front of it, you'll realise how big that bit is. Pretty much it. 
Big boy size. 